Our next guest is certainly a man of many hats, many titles, a child of immigrants, a former NFL safety, a neurosurgery resident, and the founder of his own nonprofit, just to name a few. Dr. Myron L. Roll details his formula for success in his new book, The 2% Way, How a Philosophy of Small Improvements Took Me to Oxford, the NFL, and Neurosurgery. Dr. Roll, so impressed with your long resume that I'm sure is just continuing to build. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So the title of your book, The 2% Way, is basically a mindset that you say is responsible for your own personal success as you work toward your goal just 2% of at a time. I explain how that works. Absolutely. Well, I got it from my football coach at Florida State University. Uh, he would challenge me and my teammates to get just a little bit better, 2% of increase, 2% of edification every day on the field. And I took this mindset of just getting small improvements towards a better version of yourself. I took it to life. And so that anything that I did, any video I watched, any uh, person I met, any experience I had, I tried to add it to my journey to be a better version of myself. And so this 2% way essentially means, you know, having a big goal, having a large task, breaking it down piece by piece and moving forward and seeing progress in yourself daily. So just give us like a, an actual way to break that down. Say somebody is trying to be healthier or somebody's trying to be a better student. Give us an example of how they would measure that 2% increment each day. Well, you know, it's not so much about the, the quantifiable 2%. It's more so, you know, thinking that things are small and manageable and practical. But absolutely, if we want to be more punctual, if you want to communicate better, having an accountability buddy, someone to check in on you, to objectively look at your journey and say, you know what, you're doing better. You're doing more. Uh, crossing off things on a list, writing things down and crossing them off every single day, blocking out the background noise and distractions and staying focused and disciplined, and then checking in on your progress a month from now, six months from now, a year from now and seeing that you moved forward. You also write about the values instilled in you by your Bahamian immigrant parents and the impact that they had on, on your view of success. How so? You know, we're from the Bahamas and it's just a limited resource setting. And uh, our name, Roll, is actually a slave name. And so the slave owner, Lord John Roll, all the slaves in Exuma, Bahamas, took his last name. And so when my parents had the opportunity to leave the Bahamas and come to America, where there's a place with an abundance of resources and ample opportunities for me and my brothers to grow as students, as leaders, as Christians, as thinkers, they wanted us to really take advantage of all of our opportunities. So I walked out of the house every day, hardwired in my mind that I was not to be complacent with this opportunity, that I was going to be a good student, a good leader. And you've certainly carved a unique path for yourself, leaving your senior football season at Florida State to attend Oxford University as a Rhodes Scholar, no less, a move that many felt would actually end your pro football prospects. Then again, so you go to the NFL, then you leave the NFL career to attend medical school. Just kind of explain that decision-making process and, and that journey along the way that, that has taken you uh, from here to there. When I was uh, up for the NFL draft, I actually deferred and said, I do not want to enter the NFL right now. I want to go and get my medical anthropology master's degree at Oxford, immerse myself in a new culture, meet new people, and hopefully develop myself as a leader. Came back to the States and got drafted much later, only played three years in the NFL with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, but if I had to make the choice again, I would, because people now tell me that I've inspired them by choosing academics over sports, uh, and it's meant a lot. And now, walking into my next chapter of my life, where I'm able to be a physician, a neurosurgical resident, help heal people, take out brain tumors, fix deformed spines, uh, and really, really give people a second chance at life. It means a lot. It's certainly a blessing. And uh, all my journey, my whole life has led to this point, and I'm incredibly grateful. Really just so phenomenal and impressive what you're doing, what you've done, what you will continue to do, uh, no doubt. And you've said that this book is written for those who may be overwhelmed or, or without direction and in need of a, a place to start. What's your message to those who might be feeling that way? Well, you know, one thing I write about in this book is about all the self-doubt that I've had, uncertainty, maybe feeling a little bit of racism or prejudice, feeling socially awkward in certain settings. You know, when you're uh, a smart football player and your teammates are a little bit different than you culturally, maybe you might feel like it's hard to fit in. Uh, workplace challenges, even dealing with my wife and relationship challenges as we are been quite distanced in our in our lives. So I get really personal and very vulnerable in, in this book. And, and I want to allow people to see themselves through my story. I've had challenges, you have challenges, but the way we mitigate that pressure and that stress is by blocking out the background noise, getting a little bit better consistently, winning each day, taking small steps and moving forward. And so I hope that this book can resonate with a lot of people because books like 
Gifted Hands by Ben Carson inspired me to do more. And hopefully this book can do the same for someone out there who reads it. So we're excited about it. We are all excited about the book. Dr. Myron L. Roll, author of The 2% Way. We thank you so much for joining us. All the best and continued success to you, doctor. Thank you, Ms. Davis. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.